so I'm gonna try this solar dye in again I was gonna wait until the weather got a bit warmer but I can't wait I'm too excited so much fun so we're gonna go with the purple again with the black turtle beans and I'm just gonna do that many so it lightly covers the bottom. We'll add hot water again. About there. Hmm. It's not as much dye coming off it as quickly this time. Right, let me just grab some fibers okay so i've got this i don't know if all this is going to go in but we'll see what we can get in i've got this piece of cotton it's quite large it's been washed all oh, this has been washed and mordanted in alum just alum this time i wanted to see how it changed the results um Do I try with this? Pop some of that in and then the yarn again. Yep, we'll do it. <laughs> it's going well. Okay. And this is, I don't know if this is the merino or the bamboo, but it's one of those. Okay, so let's pull that in. Let's pop some water in. And unskins. This would be much easier if I had a tripod set up, but I'm just doing this on the fly. in there's going to be a lot of like tie dye on this because it's quite squashed in which is cool fill it up oh um, more onion skin i think tiny bit of vinegar and then I'm going to pop that on the windowsill. Okay, so say hello to voiceover Helen for the very first time. Um, so my camera died, um, but I carried on filling the jars. So here's the first one um, that you've just seen me filled. So it's got the beans at the bottom and the red onion skin at the top and a splash of vinegar. And this one is the onion skin, yellow onion skin at the top. And at the bottom, I've mixed up some turmeric with hot water. I also added a splash of paprika to give it sort of a more warm tone. Paprika to give it sort of a more warm tone. Then we did, I've done the violet food colouring again and added some black at the top. I was hoping this black would break, but I, yeah, I did notice that there was only one 
um, E number in it for the colorant and this is the jar with just the black and as you can see it's just a sort of grayish color so I don't think we're gonna get any breaking from that I've just received some of this lace um, I'm gonna pop it in obviously I've literally just received it so it's not been more into or anything I don't know what it's made of I have a feeling it's gonna be synthetic so it's not gonna take any dye but we'll find out I'm just going to add a little bit to each of the jars. And then add a little bit of water. changed maybe a bit more color in the beans in the skin see more blue here I think on the food color now. the water seems to be clear so today it may rain but I'm just gonna leave these outside still um, probably be a couple of days before I rinse them This should be a bit easier this time, so I've got the tripod set up. Okay, so that's the food colouring. on some colour, mostly the black to be honest. It's interesting. And the yarn is beautiful and the silk also beautiful. And the lace. Oh. A little bit of pink, a little bit of black. Dish soap in. Get some cool water in here. It's a little bit hot.
excited by these look at this purple thing right Drain right next. It's gonna be full. Sorry, full. Uh, oh, and let's do the black. I need to call it next. I've already partially emptied this jar because it was leaking slightly. So this one might be a candidate for adding a bit more dye to because that black rude. <laughs> that black didn't really do much. Um, I did notice that it only had one E number in it, so it doesn't surprise me that it's not split like I wanted it to. But we have more food colouring on the way that we can play with. this orange colour that the onion skin gets. So this is mostly in just the turmeric. Wow, that's bright. Right. Oof, that needs a rinse. Put that out of the way. For a minute. I know that turmeric is a fugitive dye, so it might not last, but I don't intend to use it for a garment. So. This one smells interesting. <laughs>
put a bit of bead on this one. Okay, so this is our wool yarn, which is a little bit oranges and yellows. Hold a sec. Then we've got the lace, which has sort of aged with that orangey yellow colour, lovely. Sari silk, got some nice bright yellows. And that's actually the cotton yarn. Which didn't take on food colouring last time we tried it. Rinse them out later. Give those a rinse least we've got our beans and our red onion skin Interesting still image. Oh, the vinegar smell. Ooh. Next time I want to try with just the beans. I think a lot of 
green off these onion skins. That's our cotton yarn. Let's see how well that does. And just beans at the bottom. We'll sort that one out in a minute. Oops. Rinse time. Some beautiful blues and greens in here. we dry to see what colours we get. That's interesting. I think this is cotton actually. The way it's taken on some colours but not others. So we'll have some fun experimenting with that. Uh, so I'll be back when it's all dry. So look at all these beautiful colours. So let's go through these. This is the cotton yarn in the beans and the onion skin so the onion skin is this green colour it's quite pale in the cotton yarn which is interesting this piece of cotton which came out beautiful and you will be seeing this in a future video hopefully I'm going to make a little journal recording my dye journey <laughs> This is that lace that wasn't moored into it at all. It was put in dry. Came out nice and greeny coloured. I think that's cotton from what I can see. And then we have this yarn with the beautiful blues and then the green, green colours. Um, I can't remember how it compares to the one that we used the cream of tartar in I think this is slightly brighter but I'm not sure so I need to find out to compare then we have our um, onion skin and paprika and turmeric now I do have the previous attempt. I'm just looking at the oranges really. I do think they are brighter on this 
without the Queen of Tart, which is interesting. Because the Queen of Tart was supposed to be Nicola's bride. I, I'm not sure if that was just forgotten. But yeah, that bright yellow from the turmeric is lovely. It doesn't smell so bad now. <laughs> now that we've washed it. So we've got the silk, which is not beautiful. The lace has got sort of an aged vintage look to it. It's also some of the brights in it, just look it's and then the cotton really took on that turmeric which is lovely. It still isn't quite dry. I need to unravel it a bit I think. But yeah, very nice and bright. And then the lace in the food colouring, so again this one took on more of the pink. A tiny bit of that black that was at the top. Which is nice. This didn't really take much on at all. It's a sort of slight hint of pink. So I don't think that's gonna work very well with the food colouring. I'll probably over dye that one. The black food colouring just kind of gave hint of grey, you can't really even see it. So that will be over dyed. And the yarn is beautiful. The pink, the purples and blues. I love it. So I hope you enjoyed that. And will join me again soon, hopefully when I've got some more colours. Um, I'm going to play with some more food colourings and I'm going to try just the beans on its own, see what that gives us, like some more of these blue tones. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.